So uh, we will focus on uh, boards, lists and cards. So let's get started with board. So I see uh, create board here and I see a board section here as well. Uh, and uh, create new board here and is there anything here? I can create new board here as well. So there are create new board itself there are multiple options. One is uh, top right the plus icon and then you have in the board section uh, there is a button maybe you can say you know maybe a block and then on the left side where you have boards and then create new board link okay boards. and then a link so the so let's see if all three take us to the same place and I'll also check if there are other places no so I go to home this is creating a workspace okay got it right so create new board uh, it shows uh, the workspace workspace visible start with the template create template okay escape click on this okay the same thing click on this also the same thing okay so all three places lead to the same option okay so i go here and then um, default option and uh, i can add image here So this is the image and as all three target the same I'll, I mean lead to the same uh, image I'll just move it and make a block like this okay okay great so this is the default option now let's explore uh, the board So there is a board title and uh, what is the max characters here you go so it seems to take all 26 three times four times five times and just check here Okay, so it's like 130. Uh, I could also generate characters using say ipsum.org. You can say start with and uh, bytes. characters I can also try out counter string online these are all uh, counters but I want to create one While all of these happens, all I want to do is to create a board. So maybe I can make a note that, okay, board title is something that uh, I need. So I'll say teachers. So there is board title with a pre-canned text as well. Then you have uh, the background color. 
then workspace name uh, then visibility then there are lots of templates as well so let's go back here and there are more options as well so you can add photos or colors so this uh, there is default then there is more option more has photos more has background color okay. and each of it again has see more So I could just take a photo of this, and then uh, add a image. This is board background. Okay. Now let's see what else. What are the other things here? We have covered this part then this is by default then workspace visible so these are the options for the visibility so we'll again take up uh, an image workspace come out of this then start with the template where does it take us to it takes us to Trello slash templates right so so we save all of this so this is the features uh, now let's go check uh, the what does the help say a board represents a place to keep track so this is the help file right it says uh, represents a place to keep track of information often for large projects teams or workflows uh, whether you are launching a new website tracking sales or planning your next office at Trello board is a place to organize all the little details most importantly collaborate with your colleagues okay okay so that's all right you have a b c d what does a b c d mean okay here is a okay b is a list which is this c must be a card yes c is a card and what is d d must be the options or menu right a board menu okay so all of these are related to boards so what we'll down, now do is uh, uh, add more ideas and also some notes so ideas uh, could be the character count te test on board name then workspace name could be character count as well uh, special characters also uh, we could go with uh, create workspace add board delete workspace do we get the right options or not then uh, we also have collaboration opportunities so add members so again here uh, uh, zero where you have not added then the, you have added one and then you have added multiple uh, then again different states in terms of active inactive say business and then personal user then there is like gold member also right so these could be on different states right and as well uh, you could think of uh, where you say the member adds member adds or 
performs activity right and then delete it okay delete so what happens in the audit history So let's go back to boards, go to your boards. So I doubt if it will take directly to boards. Okay, it does take. Good. But there are no boards. So let's create a board. Say this is sample board. So say create board. So this board has so many features as well. So you can star the board, star or unstar. This is a board view. You come here. Okay, so this is board view, right? So there are multiple features after you create a board, which are, there is one is the board view. Next you have the board name. So board name also gives you the option of can you edit it once you have created. Then you have star unstar. Star unstar. Right. Or is it unstar? Yes, unstar. Then uh, the workspace and what does this free mean? Okay, so name, workspace name, workspace visibility, so workspace name, workspace visibility, then you have the users who are added, users, and you also have the option of inviting folks, and then there's something called as automation, so just click on it to see what it is, so a butler is coming up. What does that do? Okay, so that takes up. Uh, okay, so looks like there are some predefined activities that you could set up. Okay. Fine, so let's just add automation. And yeah, let's go back. And then there are uh, lists. So there is board menu. There was an option, right? Uh, okay. So one more interesting thing to note is it also comes in the URL, the board menu. Okay. So there are now lists. lists have cards so and then it also has the default options and then say what are the things what is this create from template list actions I am still struggling to find where is a board menu so let's go find here There was something called as board menu. Board menu. Okay. So in this section, I saw that there was something called as board menu. Let me quickly find out what that is. Right. So here, on the right side of Trello board, is the menu is very managed. Control. You can also see. But how do I launch it? Okay. So difficult, no? it's it's not straightforward. Is this the board menu? No. Is this the menu? No. Is this the one? No. Is this the one? No. 
So how do I find a board menu? Let me go back to all boards. Or maybe go to home. I have a board here and uh, I click on it. Don't see the board menu at all. Okay, let me try. Uh, sample this uh, sample card no this is not the board this is a card menu I see something here okay do you see this uh, let me show it to you So this is uh, an issue. So if you see here, because of the background color, I am not able to see this. You see this here, show menu. And I was all searching for it. Show menu. Okay. So let me make a note of it. Show menu. And it has you know, all of these. So let me take a screenshot. Then activate. So we'll say So we could expand these as well. You can click on more and also show you more options. So these are some of the other options. And view all activity. There is all and comments. Right so let me add this more so this is more and for view all activity This is the option. I save this. Okay, uh, so yeah, 19 minutes into the system, and uh, I now seem to understand what's happening. Uh, now I can go ahead and explore more. So, are there more board options if I go to the home? Are there? Okay, I can star and star. I also have settings here. But this is more uh, to do with the workspace settings and not boards. Okay, here is a board option. And I can again search filter. Right. 
can I allocate member to boards? Maybe not. So let me go back to the boards. Recent boards. I can change background. I can add a description to the board. I can also see board admins and I can change permissions. So this I can add in the collaboration, in the ideas. So different states and then permissions, admins, what, what kind of permissions I can change, who can change, uh, oh, comment thing and then add remove permissions. So that's it. So there are lots of settings. So I go back and I can search the cards. I can add stickers. Yes. What else can I do? I can. This is settings. I need to upgrade. So this is also a test idea where I can say basic to upgraded version and vice versa then there is a lot of settings based actions I can close board I can export all of that so I come back yeah so good so I end uh, my exploration here about boards and uh, yeah, I will delete these, select all, make it bold. Make it uh, 36 bold. Save it and uh, maybe add a wallpaper as well. Reduce the transparency a bit, save it and export it. Right, so this is my understanding of the Trello board. Thank you.